Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crap! Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Renwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is? All I see is snow. Dan and Owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle! Huh. Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond at least. Got it. Thanks. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. It's quite a relief. Hmm. Enemies who can cast Astral Arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt Astral Arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. Really? Then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal astral energy, the enemy will lose focus, which means they can't cast anything else for a while. So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. It's actually something of a secret technique within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me. It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do, so we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax, the coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Let's try talking to the villagers. Hey. 
Hmm. Hey. Ugh. I guess. Great! Huh? Huh? Messia 224. Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small village. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative <sighs> purposes. So the Renans even get to decide what places are called out in this realm. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. What? Good. Using zoogles to make drinks. That takes guts. No one would have come up with it before the occupation. That's for sure. You don't think the snake eyes will hold it against them, do you? If anything, the warmth might help loosen them up. I think there's someone in trouble here. Well... 
Let's see what they have to say. Huh? Hey. Ugh. Sure. <sighs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Stay calm. We don't know where they took Zephyr yet. There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. Little help! Take it! Go time to run! Raging Cascade! Flash! You're mine! Here I Here go! Here I go! These uh, are only get around us! Swallow Blade! Reload! Great! Max! Take it! Take it. Swallow Blade! Blade. Is that the Zoogle we're looking for? Go no further! Take this! Swallow Blade! Sonic Thrust! Reload! It's over! Not on my watch! Here I come! Here Swallow Blade! Now! Great! Yes! One thing is weak! It's over! It's on! By the power of water! I'll be saving this one! That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. An opponent like this should be easy. Hang through! Swallow Blade! Mega Ray! Zero for the long time! Reload! Here goes! Slide! If it's in the sky, it's wrong! wrong. I'm all stuffed up! Fresh! You by the power! That should be enough to make the area more safe to travel in.
dispose of the trash. Thrush. Where are you going? You're Here goes. Go get him. Looks like trying to keep up with the wall. It's over. Get in the way. Field. You're mine. Take him. Copy. Out. Where did he get off? No escape. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah. I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. Till next time. Hmm. Huh? My guess. Of course. Ha 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 ha! 